Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com, and today we'll be doing a review of the Diamond uh, 1080p HD game capture. Uh, this is the third game capture we've seen so far this year, and um, this is from Diamond, the graphics card maker. Of course, they make a lot of uh, AMD graphics cards, and they've gone into the game capture business since they deal with uh, you know graphics and um, video in general. This is the GC1000, so that's the Diamond GC1000 1080p HD game capture. So. Of course, this can capture from your Xbox, PS3, uh, and the Wii. As you can see, it's got component cables. It can also capture from your PC. Now, at the back, you can see here, it shows you all the uh, various inputs. And you can see from your camcorder, from your game console, even uh, DVD, VHS players. So you can actually use this to convert, if you want to, um, your old uh, VHS to to uh, digital, which is pretty cool. That uh, some, something is nice to know. You can easily share to Facebook, Twitter, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead, open this up. So here, device, some trusty knife. Let's see what we have in the package contents. Open this up. Okay, so here's our Diamond game capture device. Small, kind of almost the same size as the Roxio. We'll get to that in a second. Let's see what else we have in the packaging here in terms of cables. So, very simple packaging. Everything's all bundled in this bag. So of course we have a uh, installation manual, quick start guide if you will. We also have our CD, so this is a Diamond GC10 CD. You need this of course to capture, it's very important. Got our USB cable, this is from your uh, game capture to your uh, uh, video game device, either your Xbox 360 or PS3 or Wii, uh, as well as PC if you want to captured PC gameplay. You're also given two sets, uh, one set of uh, component cables here. Um, this also captures uh, from uh, HDMI, so we're not going to be using component cables. So this is the uh, game capture now. Uh, it's an LED on the top that lights up. It's got this matted finish. See here, it shows you actually uh, the in and out. So you do have HDMI here. And this is the in section, which means this is where everything comes in from your game consoles uh, or from your PC you're looking to capture from or as they said from your camcorder as well as VHS everything comes in here so you have HDMI in you have components in video components in audio and S video if you want to use that and then you have the out section here which is on the other side basically on top of the head of the figure here where you have uh, audio outs for components as video out S video out as well as HDMI out. This does not require a power source because the power source is, is, it runs through USB through your uh, PC or laptop. So it's a very simple process, uh, very easy. Um, all you need to do is install the software and you are good to go. Um, so let's do that and let's run it and see how well this actually the works. Diamond GC uh, 1000 uh, game capture device. We've plugged it in into our Xbox. As you can see here, this is the interface and it's pretty cool. What I like about it is that the, with the game capture um, interface that you have from Diamond here is that um, you can put it up on full screen and there, there's just no bars, there's no um, um, uh, menu options until you scroll to the bottom. Now, at the bottom here, we have the record option so we can actually capture. Um, you can take a snapshot. You can also resize your aspect ratio, free, 4 by 3, 16 by 9. Of course, this is volume up, volume down, mute, which I have been muted. You can hear the gameplay volume there. You have playback, so which means you can go back and play things you've recorded. And you also have a schedule record. Now, the reason you have that is because the game capture device allows you to also record live TV. So you can record live TV with this. You can set up record times. And if we go there, you can see start time durations. You can just go to your settings here, your location your scheduled list and you can actually add or create 
um, timeline. So if you don't have a DVR, you can actually use this to be your DVR also, which is pretty cool. Hit exit and out of there. So again, you can create, and then of course you have your source input where you select what you're going to use. Is it uh, composite, component, S-video, or HDMI, which is what we're using now. And uh, of course, finally, you have your settings or your setup. And there you can go through set up a storage location for your files, uh, sn uh, snapshots, interface capture, things like that. All that kind of information uh, is saved right here. Very simple, very easy. I, a very straightforward and also very versatile interface you have here. So which is pretty cool that you, uh, you, you can actually do that with this. The only downside is that it doesn't come with its own specialized um, editing uh, software. It comes with um, Cyberlink Power Director. Eight, uh, which uh, um, you know I'm not too keen on because we're on Power Director 12. Eight is actually a much older version of Power Director. So if it was if if we had come with Power Director 11, sorry, I'm sorry, we're on Power Director 11, not 12. If you come with Power Director 11 or 10, that is something would be more reasonable. But you know, uh, eight is really really old. Um, but besides that, though, capture works very very well. So we're actually going to just do some game capture here and show you, and um, hit record so we're recording now and uh, we should uh, you can see it starts starts recording there is lag um, so it's about the second lag between gameplay and this but we will resume our game and here we go <laughs> As you can see, uh, it's pretty easy to record, pretty straightforward. And we just stop recording, as you can see there. Um, very simple software. It goes for about, um, as I believe it's $133 currently online now. And I think it's very, very nice. If you're looking for something that um, you can capture devices easily, again, you don't need a power source for the GC1000 from Diamond. Um, you All you you need is just two HDMI cables if you if for for your Xbox. Of course, you need the AV cables for um for your PS3. But and you also can record your from PC. You can record from VHS. You can technically use this to convert your VHS um uh, if you will. So you can use that also there. Um, you can use it to record live TV, which is great. Uh, that's my um of course that's my game attack there. Uh, so definitely if you want to add me on the Xbox, uh, there it is, Thunder Emperor. Um. But anyway, um, really, really cool. Um, I like it for those aspects. I like the fact that the game capture software itself to capture is very easy to use and it's very versatile. The fact that you can also record live TV with it and you can set up record schedules. I mean, to time, not to uh, to actual um, TV guide, but you know, if your show is going to be up at 8 p.m., you can set it up to record, which is very good. On the editing side, not so much because it comes with Power Director 8, which is much older and also, I would say, a less stable version. That's where it gets a nick for it. But overall, at $133, a very versatile game capture device. If you don't have a DVR at home and you want to record your gameplay, also record your TV shows, and also do lots of different types of recording or game capture or captures in general, I definitely say the Diamond GC1000 is probably what you're looking for. And I think something you should go with. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and Let's <laughs> go! <laughs>
Next. Next. 